Hello, it's me again with a third tutorial on word processing software, looking specifically at adding graphs to your Word document. In order to do this, we need some information to put into the graphs. So here is a very simple questionnaire. It asks four questions about age, sex, ethnic background, and whether you are confident in using the university online library. So those are the four questions, and here are the answers. So we can see that there are 15 people aged between 16 to 18, etc. The respondents are fairly evenly split between males and females. There are many more Chinese students than there are Arabs, Indians, South Americans, and there are no students of other nationalities. We can see that most students are either very confident or quite confident about using the online library and oh dear four people cannot use the online library hmm so let's look at adding graphs uh, to show this information so firstly i need a little space to put the graph in so i'm going to insert from the top and then insert a chart uh, for this one, I'll use a pie chart, like so. And when I click OK, we'll see that half of the screen is now an Excel sheet and the other half is my Word document. Now this shows a sales pie chart, which I don't want. My pie chart shows ages. And instead of first quarter, second quarter, I've got my different ages to type in. So 16 to 18, 19 to 25, 26 to 40, and 41 plus. Then I can put the actual numbers in. So there are 15 students who are young, 5, 1, and 1. That's a surprise one student who's 41 or older. So I've put my numbers in. You'll see that the pie chart has changed the, the dimensions there. When I click the red cross to close the pie chart, there I have my chart. A little bit like with a picture, I can make it smaller or bigger. I don't need it too big. Um, but that's it's quite difficult to see that, isn't it? It's difficult to read it. So if I click on it again, and if we look here on Design, then I can actually add the different bits of information. Sometimes it's clearer than others. I quite like that. So we'll leave it like that. So I can see that at the 41 age there are 5%, 26 to 40 there are 4%, 23%, 90 to 25, and 68% are 16 to 18. We'll return to that later because maybe I don't want percentages. For now though, let's look down at ethnicity. So here's my uh, set of answers. So there are 14 Chinese, 5 Arabic students, 2 Indian, 1 South American. So I put my cursor just below. Again, insert a chart and this time we'll use a bar chart. I like that. And then here we've got quite a complex bar chart that's come up. Um, so what do I want to do here? I I'm going to remove the different categories there. So now I've just got one category and three series, but my answers, I've got one, two, three, four, five possible answers. So where it says series one, I will put Chinese, Arab for series two, series three is Indian. If I just click into column E, I can put South American, and then click into column F, I can put in 
other. Then I can put my numbers in. 14, 5, 2, 1 and 0. And I should change category 1 to ethnic, ethnic background. So you can see that I've got now ethnic background and we can see the actual numbers of students from each ethnic background. When I close the Excel, there we have the graph which shows the exact numbers of people. Now, if you're looking at data from 10, 20, 30 people, uh, not thousands of people, it's probably better to have the actual numbers instead of percentages. After all, if we look back at the pie chart, what is 68% of 22 people? I'm not exactly sure. I'd need a calculator to work it out. Therefore, you might decide that a pie chart is not the best way to represent the findings of your survey. So let's change the pie chart to a bar chart. To do that, click on the chart and in that design tab on the far left you'll see this button here which says change chart type. Click on that and I get this pop-up box again and I can change the pie chart to a bar chart. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks absolutely perfect. I think. So I can clearly see that 15 students are aged 16 to 18. Um, 1.2? That's a little bit strange. I wonder why it says that. Very odd. Okay. Now I'm not quite sure why it has come up with 1.2 people are age 41 plus obviously that's uh, impossible but that's because it's come back from bar from the pie chart so if i right click and edit the data perhaps i can ensure that that's correct and there we are it's come up as one so i've got my two rather fine charts there Let's now have a look at the last one very quickly. So again, put my cursor below the chart. Insert a chart. Again, I want a bar chart. OK. Now, in the last bar chart, we deleted categories 2, 3 and 4. And we added columns for the ethnic background. For this chart, we'll do the opposite. We'll keep the categories and we'll delete series 2 and 3. Now, to do that, I have to highlight the columns and actually delete the columns. And you'll see now that I've just got category 1, category 2, 3 and 4. And those categories will be my answers which is yes very yes quite not very confident and I cannot use the online library and then I can put my numbers into the series one so that's 10 5 3 and 4 and I'm going to change series 1 to can you use the library and if we look down there we can see the chart comes up click on the red cross to delete the Excel and there we have the answers now these graphs they look they look quite pretty there. Not very useful, though. Um, for example, they don't tell us if the males or females are more or less confident in using the library. 
So let's look at including some additional data uh, by looking at the totals of males and females. So to do that, I need to right click the chart and I'm going to change the chart type. And I'm going to look at this type here. You can see that there are two colors in this chart. OK, now when I edit the data, I need to add in a new column, males and females. OK, so now we've got red females, blue males. Um, so let's say that four males and six females. We're very confident. One male and four males were quite confident. Three males and no females were not very confident. And three males and one female cannot use the online library. Again, close the Excel. And there I've actually got then a breakdown of male and female. So we can see that the the female students are better at using the online library than the males, probably because they have done their homework. So let's just recap. So that graph is this one here with the two different colors. I could do it in that style. Um, and that gives me a very nice picture of the differences between the male and the female student. Okay, so that's how to add charts in Word. Thank you.